What's up guys, it's Mike and it is back day. Boom, let's get some big lats, big traps, big rhomboids, everything is gonna be big. We're gonna be doing four big exercises. Starting off with pull-ups, till failure. Five sets of failure reps. Pull-ups, if you can do more than, I would say 15 or 20 pull-ups, if, if you don't have a lot of body weight, then put some weight on it. Grab a backpack, stick some weights on it, and do it that way. Next, we're gonna be doing one arm rolls. We're gonna be going with the dumbbell, eight to 10 reps, followed by bent over rolls, and we're gonna be doing it with the dumbbell again, eight to 10 reps, followed by upright rolls. These four exercises is gonna work your entire back. Pull-ups is gonna bring in your lats, give you that good V shape, while at the same time keeping your chest out and making sure that you squeeze and you notice your upper back is squeezing, right? So pull-ups is gonna work on that. One arm roll is gonna work your back independently, right? It's gonna bring, work your scapula, it's gonna work your lats, gonna work your, also your rhomboids and your traps if you roll high. If you roll low, it's more for lower part of your lats. Bend over rolls is gonna work down your back because you're gonna be holding a weight this way and just holding it right here is working on your spine. So the rhomboids, the muscles are run all the way up and down your back and as you actually squeeze, it's also gonna work on your lats too. Then upright rolls is meant, it's gonna work some shoulders, but it's meant for your upper back. If you see when you're doing an upright roll, you're squeezing your traps, squeezing your rhomboids, and your upper back is engaged. So this way you can work on all parts of your back, put nice muscle, nice size, and you're not gonna to have to where your back is really uneven. Because there's some people that will do four exercises for their back exercise, but two or three of the exercises is working the same parts or they're not or they're not hitting their upper or they're not hitting their lower or they're not hitting you know their their middle so you got to make sure you hit all entire entire part of your back if you want to have a good massive and nice full proportional back before we get started do a quick shout out so check this out this is 14 year old Maxwell Kim so here's what he sent in Hey Mike, I just want to thank you for all those videos and tips on nutrition. I've incorporated all those tips into my life and many months later, I lost two and a half inches off my waist, reached my Adonis gold golden ratio and made some awesome gains. And basically Adonis golden ratio is basically the ratio between your shoulders and your waist and your calves. And there's a certain type of V ratio that's basically seen as, as the most desirable for men and vice versa for women too. By the way, I'm 14 years old from New York who is, who is into a better and healthy lifestyle and I hope this motivates you to make more videos. Sincerely, Max Kim. Well, Max, yes, it definitely does. Thanks for sending in your photos and I'm really happy that you're 14 years old and you look this good, man. So don't hate guys, 14 years old. You got people that are 18, 20 and they still can't get results but doesn't matter your age, man. You can be young, you can just work out and you still get good results, you know? And he's 14, so by the time, dude, by the time you're 18, you're gonna be jacked, you know? Because I started when I was 14. Let me tell you what, Max, I did not look like you at 14. Also, one more thing, I'm giving out free Afterburn fuel. If you haven't tried it, go to freeafterburn.com so you can try out some samples on me. All right, let's go ahead and do some pull-ups. We're going with five sets till failure. Let's do it. And we're gonna go with wide, wide grip pull-ups so we'll really work those lats. Make sure your grip is wider than your shoulders. Tip on pull-ups, remember I'll sign you, keep your chest up, chin, let me turn around this way on the first set here. Chin up, chest up, and this is the starting position. See right here? Don't just start like this, because you'll end up using your shoulders. Your shoulders are gonna be too hot. Keep your shoulders back, so this way your back is squeezed. So this is what it's gonna look like. Look up. And down. Set one, we've got four more sets to go. So don't forget, keep your chest out. I'm gonna show you one more set really quick here. The wrong way to do this. 
So this way you can really see the difference. And I'm gonna do it from the back so you can see. Well, actually I'll do it from the front first. So if you notice, notice how my shoulders is back, right? Like this, shoulders back and your chest is out. So you're pulling with your shoulders back and your chest out. A lot of guys, they have their shoulders forward. And what happens is they don't use their back. They end up working their forearms and their biceps. And it looks like this. So shoulders forward, notice the difference. Ooh, thanks. Actually, that just doesn't feel comfortable because I'm so used to doing it the right way, but I'm gonna show you again. See? See how your shoulders are up. So what happens is you use a little bit of your back, but most of the time you're straining your neck, using your biceps, and you're doing this, okay, versus this. So really, really huge tip. Probably about seven out of 10 guys I see doing pull-ups aren't doing it right. They're doing it with their shoulders high and they do this, okay? All right. Okay. Next exercise we're gonna be doing is one arm rolls. So, grab a dumbbell. You can hold onto a bench, hold onto a wall or something, or you can just do it like me to where you're just basically crouched over and have an elbow on your knee. This way it just basically uses more core, that's all. Makes it just a little bit tougher. So when you're rolling, again, you can roll a couple different ways. You can roll high, you can roll low. If you roll high, let me turn to the side here. So if you're rolling high, basically your elbows is closer to your shoulders when you're coming up. It's like this, right? This is gonna be working more of your upper back. See how my back squeezed? Now, if you roll low, it'll be like this. Your weight will be further back, your elbows are gonna be further back here. See how my elbows is here versus here. So when you do this, look at the difference in the back. You see? One, you're doing this. The other one, you're doing this. So it works differently on your back, and it's all preference. What do you wanna work on? If you guys don't have any preference, I would recommend right in the middle. That's what you work on overall. So, just right in the middle, we'd be basically about right here. Not so far, not so bad. Just right in the middle. All right. Yeah. <sighs> 
Once you're done with your one-arm rolls, move it on to bent over rolls. So you can do this with a dumbbell or a barbell. They do feel a little bit different. A dumbbell is gonna cause you to work your lats and your back independently. So sometimes it may seem a little bit harder and sometimes it just depends. For me, I'm, I'm doing a lot more barbell. So doing uh, dumbbells is a little harder for me. But again, it doesn't matter if it's harder or easier. If it's harder, it's actually a good thing. Because that means as it becomes easier, you develop new muscles to, to your body. That's what makes it easier. So, <sighs> Biggest thing when you're doing uh, bent over rolls, make sure when you pick up the weight and when you're doing it, never do this. I'm turn to the side, never do this. See my back? Never do that. A lot of guys that see, they'll do this. They grab the weight up, and then they get into the right position. And I mean, it, <laughs> there's no point if you grab the weight up wrong, by the time you get into the right position, you could have injured yourself already. So the way I always recommend, no matter if you're doing a bit over roll, or a deadlift, or anything that has to do with you picking up weight off the ground, is when you grab it, never round your back, right, chest out, and think about like you're deadlifting it up, right? Grab onto the weight right here, boom, stand up to here. Once you're up to here, you can get into a position you're gonna roll, you can get to a position to where you're about to do shrugs, doesn't really matter what it is, right? Just as long as you pick it up the right way, and once you're done, again, that's the second part I see, is once someone's done, they'll do this. I mean, that's the worst part because you're fatigued at the end of your set. So make sure that you pick it up right, especially when you're done, put it down right. You know, you're fatigued, you just did your last set, okay, just come down slow, okay? Keep your chest out the whole time, just drop it that way. Okay. And you got four more sets left. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go up a little bit, a little bit of weight for this next one. tough at that very end. Luckily I was close to the ground so I just put it right back down. All right, so last exercise, upright rolls. I'm grabbing about a 25 on these. Now, Time to work on your upper back. I now do a lot of my upper right rolls for my traps. Traps, a little bit of rear delts. I couldn't, I didn't do too much of them before because I hurt my shoulders. That's from all the years I've bench pressed and run. So, if you guys, if you have shoulder pains from bench press, I know, I feel you. But watch my bench press video on how to how to do it correctly. There's tons of guys that are running into that same issue. I'll put the video on the screen there for you so you can check it out. All right. <laughs> one uh, 
One awkward tip, this happened to me before doing upright rolls. Know what I mean? Keep it slightly away from your body. You don't, it's gonna hurt. Just saying, happened to me before. So now I'm very weary <laughs> to stand straight up. I kind of lean forward a little bit, keep my dumbbells more slightly lower. All right. Too easy. So, next one I'm gonna go up a little bit. I'm gonna try these 45s out. Alright. Here we go. should be insanely pumped right now. We are done for the back workout for today. Don't forget, when it comes to working on back, make sure that you hit your entire back and you have to understand exactly what parts of your back the exercise you're choosing is working on. This way you don't forget or don't neglect any parts of your back so you have a full, developed, nice, wide, V-shaped back. And don't forget, you can try out Afterburn for free. Go to freeafterburn.com and it'll be on me. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget, sixpackshortcuts.com for more workouts and nutrition tips. See y'all guys next time. Peace.